Hello and welcome to a strange session. My name is Ashraf Ayad and I'll be working with you today on one of the Mentor Ray production shaders called the MIP Render Subset. The Render Subset is actually a lens shader that can be applied to the camera and the function of that shader, it, what it'll do is to replace one element of your scene, for example this sphere here, that you are happy with the whole entire render except a sphere that you want to, for example, change the color. So rather than re-rendering everything, you can just render a subset, exactly how the shader is defined, of that scene. I want to point out that the render time here is about 1 minute uh, 30 four seconds and mostly because of this glass here so my render if I'm gonna render the sphere by itself I want to render it with the reflections with the refractions with everything except changing that color and this can be done like I said in the beginning with the render subset so let's see this how it will work I want to point out here this is a uh, area light and these are opening to view the background the background is gray color. don't get confused to be these lights this is just gray colors and this is white I'm hoping that the recording will capture the color difference to minimize this one select the camera under mentor ray section we're going to apply a lens shader. Since it's a lens, so it's going to be under the lenses. And here it is. And by default, you will see a couple of things on. Enabled, this is, will turn the function on and off. And uh, there's one here that is uh, hidden, that's objects. And the one that we choose, we can work with, is the material. So you can choose either by choosing an object or a material that you want to change. So for example, we're just going to change this material is only applied onto one object. It's going to be easier to pick. So I'm going to go to my hypershade. And this is my chrome material. I'm going to expand it this in and out go back to my render subset and when you're applying the material you want to make sure you apply the SG node not the shader itself but the SG node in the eyes of material the materials are in here in the SG node not at the shader level going back to my render offset middle mouse drag and drop as simple as that go back to my render view keep this and actually let's change the shader a little bit before we start and uh, make the color something very visible and maybe reduce the reflectivity and render again as you can see the render is going very fast and render time is 16 seconds rather than one minute because it uh, apply the uh, what the eye rays or the rays that gets set from the camera and this is what it only sees as you will see it actually called the reflections that is surrounding it so you didn't lose that so it's not like you go to the attribute editor of uh, surface and say disable reflection refraction actually it's it calculated and how it works it uh, actually uses the rays that happen and ray trace uh, render so therefore if you go to your render settings and change to uh, rasterizer it's you might have a different result because the rasterizer look for that lens shader after the first pass of ray so we'll see if i change this to rasterizer and render it goes to the first pass but then it's not going to see the lens shader see so here it starts to miss it so i'm going to go back and disable the rasterizer and go back to scan light and let's go back here to the render subset as i said in the beginning you can change that to be an object so let's say for example break this connections and let's say we want to have another object so only to render so for example let's call this ball and you know that you typed it correctly because now this arrow has changed if you want to have another object you can add in so let me uh, create another one really quickly here I'm going to go back to my render subset once you select it again it will show that there you can add other objects now let's re-render this Again, the render happens very fast, and you can see it rendered only the two objects that we choose. Now, if you want to add another constraint, which is here, for example, the material, and for this one, we're going to use the same shader that we use for the chrome, and again, we want the SG node. Now we have three constraints. The first one it says, I want to render the ball C, and I want to render the cone, but I also want to constrain it with the shader that is assigned to the chrome shader, which is only assigned here. So let's render C also. And you'll see it only rendered the sphere and eliminated the cone, even though that the cone is here, because all these constraints, according to the shader, has to be met. So all these variables, they say, I want the ball, I want the cone, but I also want the shader. So it would only have to fulfill all of them. So since the cone doesn't have the shader that is the chrome assigned, it's going to eliminate it. So this one, so break the connection, break the connection, and break the connection again to make sure that you're starting again fresh. And what I'm, actually, let me point out here, you'll see it doesn't have an alpha or doesn't have any masking on so let's get the ball C again so that means we're gonna only render remember this time the ball is behind as a cone so it's only render this area here and for this I want to say I only want output the mask 
See, and now you have the mask in case if you want to take it to your compositing and you want to mask it out only by itself and use the mask to uh, extract the colors or uh, in, uh, help you with your comp, uh, you can do that function. After you enable that, you can obviously have very simple functions here. You can have the mask color to be a certain color, background to be uh, maybe blue, and the other objects to be red. So if we render this. See now, the mask color is what I chose. The background color, which is the opening in the windows here, became blue. And whatever elements in the scene or the object in the scene will take that color. So just reset everything back here. Last thing we see here is the full screen final gather. And enabling this, or actually it is on by default for a reason, because what we want is to have the final gather elements being calculated to the entire scene. So let me put this back here to uh, Render this here, and we leaving uh, the final gather on. So it calculated or it used all the final gather elements from the entire scene. That's why we have the verdish here from the red uh, wall. So let's keep this and disable this one is seven seconds. When we do that, uh, it's it render much faster from seven to two seconds, and uh, sometimes that can uh, work for you or you can get away with it. But remember, it's only calculating the final gather points for that particular subset. You might have risk of boundary artifacts when you put them in here, when you start comping. That will happen more, I mean, this is a scene that you probably are not going to see it in because it's a still, but when it's animation and things change over time, you might see that flicker happen, so that's why you should have this on by default. Back to this uh, function, uh, this function is not to be used as a uh, render pass, it's that you take all the elements to render out one, but then just comp them. Obviously you can do that, but or actually the way it was there is that you have render an image, we have one element in it that you want to fix really quickly so you can use that rather than the entire the whole scene. That will bring you to the other question, what if you want to stack them? Unfortunately, if you go back to, uh, obviously you can add shaders in here, and you can stack shaders by adding multiple lens shaders in here. So you can use the uh, gamma correction, it's not uh, it's not a big deal, it can still work and you can still add the render subset here. But if you add two render subsets, it will only render the first one, it's going to ignore the second one. So you want to make sure it only it, this is how it works or actually how it should work. It should work with one render subset. Well I hope you guys enjoyed the session and I'm looking forward to talk to you more.